ISIS leader al-Baghdadi released a video after a long while and addressed his followers once again. So now I'm joined uh, in the studio by Do Erolu, a journalist who specializes on ISIS. Hello, evening. Uh, hello, uh, Do. Thank you for joining me. So my first question, um, is this address really important and why, if yes? It is in several uh, areas, uh, but I shall, I shall address first uh, the Baghdadi's last uh, resurface, last address uh, in a rare footage in April 2019. Mm -hmm. So uh, we, we didn't have any footage of ISIS leader al-Baghdadi mm -hmm. since his appearance on uh, Al-Nur Mosque in Mosul uh, during the uh, speech in which he proclaimed himself as the caliphate of mm -hmm. the Islamic State. And this was in 2014. Mm -hmm. And since then, the anti-Islamic State coalition was seeking al-Baghdadi and, and trying to find out his whereabouts and trying to uh, bomb his uh, headquarters very uh, heavily. But uh, against all odds, al-Baghdadi managed to survive. And his appearance in uh, April uh, 2019 was very important for a lot of people, including the, uh, the Islamic State organization, and it was a very risky move. So uh, in, the, in that uh, footage, in that video message, mm -hmm. he was talking about a lot of stuff, but especially for, for the audiences, for the masses in Turkey, it was uh, particularly important because uh, apart from his messages, uh, there was a brief moment during which uh, al-Baghdadi was handed a dossier which was inscribed Vilayet Turkey. Mm -hmm. So this was a huge thing for Turkish organization. Mm -hmm. uh, in our experience in Turkey, uh, Islamic State cell structures were uh, heavily voluntarily uh, worked. Mm -hmm. So they were organized in a voluntary fashion. Uh, there was Salafi networks in Turkey already before the emergence of the Islamic State. Uh, most of them go back to early 2000s. So those networks decided to work with Islamic State as the Islamic State came to uh, power in Syria and in, and in Iraq. Mm -hmm. So uh, we didn't know the, about the existence of a hierarchy of, of a unit that worked under direct uh, chain of command of the ISIS command mm -hmm. in Iraq and Syria. Mm -hmm. So Turkish units, the, the cell networks, was voluntary and we didn't know that they were commanded directly by the Islamic State itself. So this Vilayet Turkey, uh, Vilayet Turkey, or uh, was a sign that there was such a hierarchy now, as of April 2019. Mm -hmm. So that was a huge development for us, for uh, who monitor the Islamic State activities in Turkey. So uh, in this uh, context, the, the address, the current address of al-Baghdadi and what happened afterwards is, yes, slightly important for us. Uh, the, the message itself, uh, the current speech, I mean, has several key aspects mm -hmm. we, we have never uh, witnessed before. The first and foremost is the uh, Baghdadi's uh, suggest, suggestion to his followers that they would be uh, better, better off uh, if they accept repentance mm. from other Muslims, meaning uh, there was a huge conflict among Salafist groups in Iraq and Syria during the Sy Syrian civil war. So wh what I mean by that is uh, besides fighting to the regime, fighting to the coalition, or fighting to the Iraqi army, uh, the Islamic State had to fought its way out uh, with the uh, HDS, Hayat mm. al-Sham, which was formerly known as Jebhet al-Nusra, or- Another jihadist organization. Yeah, uh, another or non-state armed faction mm. with jihadist characteristics. So Jebhet al-Nusra was only one of them. So mm -hmm. they fought a lot of organizations who had similar aims, similar goals, but Islamic State was the, the biggest one mm -hmm. and they had to fight uh, a lot of Salafist organizations. But now uh, al-Baghdadi says to his followers that they should accept re repentance mm -hmm. from those people who mm -hmm. fought under different banners against Islamic State. Mm -hmm. So it's a very important st step for the Islamic State recruitment. It, is, it has consequences 
on Turkey, it has consequences on every other nation who has Salafist and Islamic State networks. So we might, we might be seeing a new phase in Islamic State uh, recruitment uh, in, during which uh, the recruiters might uh, embrace a, a, a softer tone, uh, mm -hmm. a tone for uh, welco a tone which welcomes repentance, mm -hmm. and they, they they would try to perhaps they would try to uh, act as an umbrella organization mm -hmm. within Salafist networks. So, uh, well, it's a big question, I know, but how do you think the others will respond to that call? The others, you mean the other organizations? Yes. Uh, other organizations are in in well, in a sense, uh, the the huge Al-Qaeda network, the historical Al-Qaeda mm. network is recently in a very tough spot because mm. in 2016 uh, they were cornered in Aleppo mm. and then the whole process had been transferred to Idlib yes. and we're seeing the same uh, same picture all over again. Mm -hmm. the, uh, in Idlib. In Idlib, yes. right. In Idlib, masses are cornered, they have nowhere to go and well, in some case, in, in some, well, some may argue that it is a failure of the Al-Qaeda networks, mm -hmm. not the HDS, not the Cepetu Nusra, but the Al-Qaeda network as a whole. So I think what Baghdadi suggests, Al-Baghdadi suggests is uh, now Islamic State networks, uh, the global networks, is a, uh, well, worthwhile candidate for mm -hmm. taking over the historical Al-Qaeda networks. Mm -hmm. So they might be uh, rebranding themselves as a uh, as a softer organization with with uh, no uh, no uh, well they wouldn't seek any revenge I would say mm -hmm. at this point it, it is clear that they are welcoming any other organization mm -hmm. with jihadist characteristics so so that they would grow again because this uh, this loss of territory in Iraq and Syria d didn't only hurt them in that region mm -hmm. but also globally. Because once the Islamic State lost its characteristics of territorial hegemony, uh, their recruitment potential uh, diminished enormously. Mm -hmm. It happened in Turkey as well. Many communities who used to, uh, for, well, who used to feel themselves closer to the Islamic State, are now disenfranchised from the organization because they don't really see. Uh, a potential of success in Islamic State mm -hmm. at this point. So this this is a very important step for them. So lastly, I would like to ask, Turkey, you know, has been a target of uh, IAS attacks uh, more than once right, in the past. Right. So do you think that will uh, be the case once again, given that uh, very new message of Baghdadi? I, I think what you ac actually mean is the, uh, the, the campaign, the the, 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 the social media campaign yes. came afterwards, the mm -hmm. message. Well, that, that was an interesting occasion because we didn't see such campaigns uh, conducted by the Islamic State Command in Turkey for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, after the Baghdadi message was published, Baghdadi's, uh, al-Baghdadi's uh, voice message was published, we saw an immediate release of uh, around 40 pictures, uh, 40 photos taken by allegedly taken by uh, the followers of the Baghdadi, followers of the Islamic State, uh, and those, all those photos showcased that uh, the Islamic State had a, a large base of followers in Turkey and they were allegedly uh, ready to uh, take up arms at any given moment. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I should explain the photos. Mm -hmm. uh, the photos uh, of, of the uh, followers, uh, which, which were disseminated by the Islamic State organization itself, my guess, uh, had some notes on them, and on the notes it was written Vilayet Turkiye, uh, which go, goes back to the earlier uh, uh, footage of al-Baghdadi, mm -hmm. the April footage of al-Baghdadi, because was, it was the first time that uh, Vilayet Turkiye uh, was officially used by the Islamic State. So Vilayet Turkiye was on the notes, and Bakia was on the notes, it, which means Islamic State will linger on, mm -hmm. will will live, for, uh, uh, and survive. also survive. Yeah, other 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 messages which were uh, which was present on the notes were uh, yakında yakında, I mean, which means soon soon. Mm -hmm. So that means another, which suggests another uh, another round of uh, struggle within Turkey would would perhaps uh, will, will begin soon. 
But here is my take on, on the subject. Mm -hmm. uh, when I look at the uh, communities who felt uh, themselves uh, within the same alignment of Islamic State during the, during the organization's uh, top time, mm -hmm. uh, which, which is to, from 2013, mm -hmm. roughly, to 2016, mm -hmm. maximum, uh, I see those communities are now f feeling more distance to the organization for several reasons. The first I already mentioned, now there's no territorial grounds for mm -hmm. Islamic State, they don't really see any perks of joining the organization because basically in Syria and Iraq, the organization is an insurgency. Mm -hmm. They don't control any territory, they, they, they don't have an army, they are uh, hitting and running, they're running a battle of attrition now. So. The conditions are, are very rough since 2016. And an, another reason for the, this, uh, what, I, what I call a distance, is the, the changing security environment in Turkey. Mm. Uh, before 2016, before Turkey actually began its military operation in Syria, mm. uh, there was a, well, uh, s most people claim Turkey turned a blind eye to Islamic State organizations, and I am, among them, because mm. uh, in 2014, in 2015, I was present at radicalization hotspots myself, and uh, I was talking to uh, for former fighters, uh, the, the people who were willing to join the ranks of ISIS, and I, I wasn't seeing any uh, pressure from the security organizations back then. In 2015, even the prime minister had said that they were unable to apprehend any uh, suicide bombers before they okay. do the attack. Mm -hmm. So that was the actual case before 2016. After 2016, the security apparatus embarrassed uh, a more preemptive uh, approach in which like, uh, they decided to go against the Islamic State followers even though they didn't do any violent acts. Mm. So this has changed dramatically. Mm -hmm. So this caused most of the uh, Turkish society who were aligned with Islamic State uh, feeling less trusting to the organization and uh, they opted out mm -hmm. uh, thinking of their own lives in Turkey. So what I, what I suggest is this was this whole dissemination of 40 something photos was a doing of Islamic State coordination. So, and I suggest there is, this, uh, this campaign doesn't really reflect of uh, Islamic State's uh, social base, current, current social base in Turkey. So I suggest the, the security is much better in apprehending those cell networks and uh, they are detecting violent attacks before they are being prepared, the, 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 the attacks uh, become Come, come into fruition. So I suggest uh, most of the former networks are not working at this mm -hmm. moment. And this message is uh, kind of overstated mm -hmm. in the social media. So I, I should underline there are still Islamic State followers in Turkey, but not as that much mm -hmm. as, as of in 2000, compared to 2013. Uh, to 2016. Mm -hmm. So, Dovey and thank you very much for your comments. Uh, now, uh, this.